It's it's no, I'm not going to play it. But I like the song. But people need to check themselves. They really do, in a real way. And you know, I had to play it. I'm sorry the audio offended you, but that it's it was broadcasted, and it's newsworthy. CNN did not immediately respond to a request for comment for the show. Just wanted to let you know, you know, black Americans who think for ourselves are mocked and degraded with words. We last saw under Jim Crow, if President Trump had no black supporters, they would call his circle Lily White. Murdoch said no one of America's most prominent black entertainers praises and visits the president and he is trivialized as a token who doesn't read. Murdoch added that the only silver lighting in this vile cloud is that the supposedly bigoted Trump presidency has delivered the lowest black unemployment in American history. Uh, That's Fox News contributor uh, D. Roy Murdoch said that these uh, reprehensible racist comments on CNN are typical of Trump-hating left that exist in the mainstream media. So that's my source there. Donald Trump weighed in, slammed CNN for the segment calling West a wildly successful businessman and asking why is free thought and expression so dangerous and scary to liberals? Turning Point USA's Candace Owens told Fox host Laura Ingram on this uh, segment was not only racist, it was absolutely despicable. I can't believe it. I can't believe that it would be allowed on any network, least of all having a host that's laughing as it's funny, Owen said. Careful, CNN. Your blatant racism is showing, Media Research Center TV managing editor Brittany Hughes wrote. And so it goes on and on and on. Uh, You know, the hypocrisy on the left is incredible. And did you hear the news? Hillary and Bill are hitting the... Well, hitting the trail, they got this uh, new speaking engagement that's coming out. Yep, Hillbillery and the team, I guess they need more money to keep their house going in Chappaqua. But they're going to hit the the, 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 the the road like they're they're campaigning, but I guess promoting a book and a, and a tour. But, of course, it's going to cost you big bucks to be able to go to see it. You know, Hillary Clinton is going to she's going to tell you more of the stuff of why uh, she felt like, you know, she lost. The left really needs, seriously, if they have any, they need to change their narratives. They need to change their talking points. They need to get some new management in. I mean, look at the faces right now. Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi, Cory Booker. I'm sorry. uh, (laughs) It's not looking very promising. It's just very nasty. And when you listen to the talking points, uh, and, and then if you talk to any liberal and try to have a rational <clears throat> conversation with them, they implode. There is, they just don't know what to go. Uh, they don't know where to go. It's like deer in the headlights. It's, it's so bizarre. Um, I don't know what's happening uh, to people's psyches these days. I don't know what's happening to people in this country, uh, but we used to be a lot closer. And as far as, you know, JFK, uh, if JFK was around, you know, they talk about people rolling around in their graves. I'm sure that if JFK could monitor the situation on Earth right now as things are, he would not be very pleased with the Democratic Party. And I, I'm certain that he would find himself more in line with the Republican Party because they were more Republican back then than they were Democrats of today. And anybody can tell you that lived through those that era or read history uh, that understands values. Uh, morals, morality, and then social engineering. It just seems like people are so more involved with the social issues than the most important issues. They want to social engineer and just make everything a status quo. Forget about what you believe in your heart and in your your Bible and what's outside the church there. They just want to just do away with all of this stuff. The GOP now on the offensive. I want to get to this before we close out on today's show. With less than a month, as you know, Until the midterm elections, Republicans are going on the offensive in several Senate races as part of a a reinvigorated effort not only to hold on to the slim margin in the upper chamber, but potentially expand it. So the chances of flipping key states being held by Democrats 
and Trump won territory seemed to be improving. In Texas, a new Quantipiac University poll, this was released yesterday, Thursday, shows Democratic Representative Beto O'Rourke trailing incumbent Senator Ted Cruz by nine points. Senator Cruz would have to suffer, I guess, an ultimate collapse for him to lose his Senate seat. Uh, those uh, results mirror a Quantipiac poll from several weeks ago, suggesting that uh, O'Rourke's momentum has flattened. Senator Cruz would have to suffer a major collapse for him to lose. That's the general consensus here, folks. Retiring Republican Senator Bob Corker holds the seat. Uh, they are in uh, Bredson and Blackburn are seeking last week, told Senate Majority Minority Leader Chuck Schumar of New York that Democrats scorched earth tactics on Kavanaugh. And I told you folks, had badly damaged Bredson, who needs conservative support to prevail in Tennessee. Analysts say that uh, the Democrats flattering bids to retake two seats in traditionally red states as parallels to the 2016 presidential race when breathless news reports suggested that Hillary Clinton had a chance at winning Texas. These liberal activists, folks, are putting a lot of money out and wreaking havoc across the country and spewing their lies and their hatred. Kick them when they're low. Thank you, Eric Holder. Thank you, CNN, for propagating this. You want to talk about a divide in the country, talking about white people. Yeah, Donald Trump's white. Get over it. Donald Trump, we had an eight-year African-American president for eight years who destroyed our country, folks. Plain and simple, our economy was horrible. Our military was horrible. ISIS was on the loose. Destroying things. Yeah. You hear much about ISIS these days, folks? Guess what? We've gotten very aggressive with them. And guess what? We're winning. We're winning. Is terror still a real threat to their country? Absolutely. But we're safer now than we've been in eight years. And folks, our economy is doing much better. People are doing much better out there. Do people need a paycheck? Absolutely. Do people need a job? Absolutely. Do people need a raise? Sure they do, but at least opportunities happening. At least a man can have dignity. At least a woman can go to work and have dignity. Thank God for that. The country is rebuilding. And as we look to the South and see the rebuilding of those cities, America is rebuilding in so many ways that has hurt us. And we need to band together as conservatives people with virtues and values and do what we can each and every day to make this country stronger, safer, and um, around for our kids and their kids so there's a country for them to come home to. It's my fear, folks, that if we don't, if we ever get a hillbillery in there and they had their way, can you imagine? Uh, I think God intervenes. Thank God, with the right people at the right time, like a Ronald Reagan. And as many people that diss this president, don't understand this president, and, oh, insisted that he had been impeached a long time ago, totally underestimated him, totally underestimated George W. And I think they've done the same thing with this president here. So many good things are happening. Don't lose track of the good things, even though there are some bad things that happen in our world. Pope Francis... I'd have to say, good thing, accepts the resignation, and it, it was coming, of a Cardinal Borel, a D.C. Archbishop that was linked to the sex abuse cover-up. 77-year-old Cardinal, dealing with abusive priest. Well, he was Bishop of Pennsylvania for 18 years. Pennsylvania grand jury reported accused Worrell of uh, allowing priests to, uh, that are accused of sexually abusing children to be uh, well, he resigned or reinstated, but the report last month documented abuse by 300 priests over 70 years. 300 priests, 70 years. We don't want the guy relocated. We want the guy permanently retired. 
Yeah, we're allow, allowing people that were accused to be relocated. Yeah, uh, but under no watch, no accountability at all. Worrell had previously asked Pope Francis to accept his resignation on multiple occasions, from what we understand, since the report. But the Pope had oh, uh, just kind of wrote it off and didn't say anything to reporters about it. But anyway, good news there. The Catholic Church needs some healing, folks. That you know, It's not just the Catholic Church, but they've had their fair share, unfortunately, of scandal and sexual abuse. And for anybody that's gone through that, experience that my heart goes out to you that nobody deserves to be sexually abused especially by a parishioner by a priest by somebody that they trust it's definitely not a, a very very good thing at all but a lot of hurting people out there and it's uh one of those things where my heart breaks and folks we gotta do our part with you know not just looking the other way but actually saying, okay, what can I do to be a part of the solution? And sometimes donating money to an organization that's helping men and women deal with these things. Um, I get letters, or I read Facebook pages, the people have been sodomized in the armed forces of all places that are screwed up mentally, and they need love. They need help, folks. So do what you can to make your world a better place. We appreciate you tuning in. Help us with our hug campaign so we can get on more stations across the country. We would really appreciate that. To make a donation to For the People, you can go onto our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. Remember Daniel's movie, trying to get out nationwide, TheFavoriteMovie.com. Watch the trailer. It's unbelievable. And pray for its release so we can get out to more places in this country. Appreciate you. Thank you, stations. And thank you, folks, for tuning in. Keith Allen, For the People, saying all the best. May God bless.